Falcon Heavy is configured for flight. T minus 15, stand by for terminal count. 10, 9, 8, Side boost ignition. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, Side ignition. is supersonic. I think it looks so ridiculous and impossible. Um, and you can tell it's real because it looks so fake, honestly. <laughs> like, we'd have way better CGI if it was fake. Um, and, you know, the, the, the colors all look, look kind of weird in space. There's no atmospheric occlusion. You know, you know it's like everything looks too crisp. Um, and, um, but we you know we didn't really test any of those materials for, you know, is it's space hardened or whatever, you know. So it just has the same seats that like a normal car has. It's just literally a normal car in space. Which I kind of like the absurdity of that. Um, and if you look closely, there's a, on the dashboard, there's a tiny roadster with a tiny spaceman. <laughs> so because Hot Wheels made a Hot Wheels roadster and a, and a friend of mine, uh, um, Suggested, hey, why don't you put that Hot Wheels Roadster with a tiny space van on the, you know, in the car too? I'm like that'd be cool. Sure. <laughs> so we did that. Um, I mean, it's kind of silly and fun, but I, I think, I think that's, you know, silly fun things are important. Um, and <laughs> normally, for a new rocket, you know, they'd launch like a block of concrete or something like that. I mean, that's so boring. <laughs> um, and uh, I think that's just the imagery of it is something that's going to get people excited around the world. Um, and it's, it's still tripping me out. I mean, I'm tripping balls here. <laughs> spaceport drone from way faster than the speed of sound to just faster than the speed of sound uh, in order to reduce some of those aerodynamic forces and heating that occurs when you're moving that quickly through the atmosphere. You can see the, the edge of Cape Canaveral in uh, both of the side booster cameras as those are coming in. And PY and NY side boosters have saved. Center core entry burn shutdown. Uh, and even though those look very similar, those two boosters uh, views, those are actually representing different boosters. Um, and they're heading towards Earth. They're about to begin their landing burns. 
will hopefully be able to bring you nice footage of that. Both side receivers transatlantic. And watch for the landing yeah, lights yeah, today at the tail end of that landing. Yeah. And that landing burn has started. Both boosters looking to be on track towards their respective landing zones. Both boosters landing burns have started. Side boosters landing legs have deployed. I'm Fraser Kane, the publisher of Universe Today. Let's look close to home, in orbit around the planet at the International Space Station. A piece of bare metal in space under constant sunlight can get as hot as 260 degrees Celsius. This is dangerous to astronauts who have to work outside the station. If they need to handle bare metal, they wrap it in special coatings or blankets to protect themselves. And yet in the shade, an object will cool down to minus 100 degrees Celsius. Astronauts can experience vast differences in temperature between the side facing the sun and the side in shadow. Their spacesuits compensate using heaters and cooling systems.
Well, I think it looks so ridiculous and impossible. Um, and you can tell it's real because it looks so fake, honestly. <laughs> like, we'd have way better CGI if it was fake.